Okay, so we'll continue here. So this is the explanation for the face behind the moon. The face people see in the moon is a result of pareidolia, if I'm saying it correctly, which is the tendency to see familiar shapes in inanimate objects. The face is often called the man in the moon and is made up of different lunar seas. Eyes, the seas of serenity and rain, mouth, the sea of clouds, knows the seas of island and vapor. However, the moon's appearance varies by culture and hemisphere. So again, this is just their scientific explanation that they're giving you. Because of course, you know, the scientists, they know everything. You know, they're gods. That's why they wear their white smock. You know, that's why they walk around in their lab as if they just happen to know how everything existed. You see that? How clever are these people? But the thing that they fail to realize is because these scientists do not believe in God. That's one thing that you must know. And if they do believe in God, their God is not our God. Understand that. And so let's show these scientists, let's show these watchers what happened from the book of Enoch. This is chapter 16, starting at verse 2. And now, as to the watchers who have sent thee to intercede for them, who had been aforetime in heaven, say to them, You have been in heaven. But all the mysteries had what? Had not yet been revealed to you. You see that? Mr. Smarty Pants. Mr. Scientist with the high level degree. And your certificates and qualifications. Well, it says even to you. The mysteries had not yet been revealed. And you knew worthless ones. You see that? Because everything that these doctors, these scientists... These people who work in the laboratory and and have obtained, well, it was given to them by watchers. By watchers. Your forefathers, right? Your daddies that knew nothing. Your daddies that you love and praise so much. Oh, beat me up, Scotty. I can't wait to get out of here. I'm ready to leave this earth. All right. Goodbye, you little bastard. But look what it says here. Your daddies, they have not known nothing but worthless things. And look what the Most High Yahweh says about your daddies. And these, in the hardness of your hearts, you have made known to the woman. And through these mysteries, women and men work much evil on the earth. Say to them, therefore, you would never have any peace. See that? You shall never have peace. But you want peace on the earth, right? That's what you want. For the Most High Yahweh says that you knew worthless ones. Okay? That's why all sin is ascribed to Azazel. Who taught the people about religion. Who taught the people about Satanism, Christianity. All sins is ascribed to Azazel. Who was the light bearer. For even Azazel wasn't even revealed the mysteries. That's why the Most High appointed Gabriel to become the new light bearer. You see that? That's the reason why it says that the people in darkness have seen a light. That's why the scripture in Isaiah says that the people are in a thick darkness. But the light of Yahweh rises upon them. You see that? Because now is the time. That the people are going to get out of darkness. Okay. See people like this. Aleister Crowley. He was Azazel's biggest fan. And you people. You're no different than Aleister Crowley. Believe it or not. You may say to yourself. Oh. How can you say that? You may think to yourself that you're different. But you're no different than this person here. Who worshipped Baphomet. Who worshipped Azazel blatantly. All you Christians, all you people out there that are into Scientology and you're so fascinated, 
with the so-called aliens well the most high says that you're all reprobate spirits and you're not needed on this earth to be honest so you can go you can become possessed by your demonic entities that you all worship there's no need for you to be here because those who are going to be here are going to be the righteous as much as you may think that your daddies are going to rule this earth well what do you think you're hearing this now what do you think the most high is letting you understand this to show you that it will not work let's go ahead and remind you what Zechariah 14 and 15 says a similar plague will strike the horses and mules the camels and donkeys and all the animals in those camps do you see that it does not matter what is your source of power for the most high how it says that he is here to take away the war horses from the people okay to strike down your chariots in case you haven't noticed yet it's time for you to wake up it's not going to happen you can test god if you want to okay think that this is a game mistake me for being a nice person because that's all that you have seen in these videos throughout the years it's just me tolerating your crap me listening listening to what you have to tell me what you all have been trying to impose on me and it's not going to work anymore you see that for the most high house says this is his rule it's time for you to celebrate his rule with trembling if not the most high is going to do things in your lifetime to shake you up to show you that he has sent me okay it does not matter whether you think that just because the spirit dwells inside this vessel here that's here physically on the earth that this spirit has no power in the heavens for you have no idea about the powers in the heavens you see i told you a long time ago that the time that my mother passed away things were going to change up that spirit that was once my mother here on this earth it's in the heavens a very special and honored spirit by the most high so the most high has me protected has a guardian spirit that is always watching me and believe best believe that that spirit loves me you understand that for the most high how put that spirit to protect me for a reason okay for that spirit is considered to be the cloud that the son of man is on and a lot of you people don't understand that you know you read these scriptures and you say yeah the son of man is coming on a cloud but you don't know what the cloud is you see that i'm here to tell you what the cloud is because it's my experience and i'm here to share this experience with you but if you're going to be proud about it then i will leave you in the dark and i promise you and i mean that on my life i will let you continue to confuse yourself and you will grope about in the darkness while the rest of the people who are humbly understanding this digest this smoothly and properly okay that's why it's not going to go well for you who think that you can uh you know run up here and say something remember guard your steps when you come to the house of yahweh and that's how this is going to be played out from now on okay if you got nothing nice to say then don't say nothing at all because if you do wind up saying something stupid the joke's gonna be on you the most high is gonna punish you okay i'm not gonna do anything to you i'm just gonna continue to make videos on youtube i'm, I'm gonna continue to do what i do okay work come home and do what i do you understand that but what's gonna happen to you i don't know because i can't call it because i'm protected the most high has spirits protecting me from people that are trying to uh, harm me people that wish bad against me so that's the reason why i'm trying to let you know that just because the spirit of the most high dwells in this vessel that's here on the earth do not think that the heavens are left empty that you know things are just chaotic because god can't control it you don't know how this is being controlled that's all that i can tell you for now so i beg of you to be humble about this because this is this is your life that we're talking about okay not just my life but we're talking about your life you see that for the most high 
He can destroy both body and spirit. Remember that. And so that's why a similar plague will strike the horses, mules, camels, donkeys, and all the animals in those camps. Now, let's take a look at this video here. serpent that you see all over the earth and it goes right over people's heads every day Children of the Watchers, Azazel and his host.